Shalom brothers and sisters. This little video, short and sweet and to the point, I just want to open your eyes to see what I'm seeing in these next few clips that I've put together for you. This is the audience hall that was built for the Pope in his little seat of power. So if you just want to watch the next few clips and just see what I'm seeing. Enjoy. Shalom. Okay, so one more example of evil in our midst. This is the Pope's reptilian audience hall. Tell me this doesn't look like a snake to you. Fangs, eyes, head. And the Pope sits right in the middle there, in the mouth. This is the outside of the building. You can see the roof here. There's the eyes. That's how the building's designed. Two massive eye-like windows, a slit where the nose should be. This is a top view where you can see the shape, which is similar to the shape of the snake. And then, just for fun, right in front between the teeth is this weird, grotesque sculpture from wood. And this is what the artist says. Suddenly there came to me the idea of Christ preaching peace for 2,000 years and the place where he prayed for the last time, the olive grove of Gethsemane, said Mr. Pizzini in a book about the work. I had the idea of depicting Christ as if he were rising again from the explosion of the large olive grove, peaceful sight of his last prayers. Christ rises from the crater torn apart by a nuclear bomb an atrocious explosion, a vortex of violence and energy. So, you're referring to a bomb, a nuclear bomb, tearing apart a piece of Jerusalem. That's so just outside of Jerusalem. And look at this thing. It's, that's definitely nothing holy about it. This is where the Pope sits in audience. Now, the rising Christ figure, let me just say that's not anything that Christ looks like. This side here looks like a snake's open mouth. There's the eye, here's the open mouth. Alright, here's the audience hall again, the eyes, the teeth, there's the grotesque sculpture. Front view of the people sitting, snake in front. This is the Pope's position next to the eye. That's a close-up of the reptilian eye. Now if you think it's just people reaching. The Vatican is its own nation state and it is full of strangely symbolic pieces. The famous pine cone here believed to represent the pineal gland which is believed to be the source of spiritual experience. In the Vatican itself believed to be the keyhole to heaven. All right so there's no mistaking what they're trying to show here. Now this is a beautiful close-up of this whole grotesque sculpture. You recognize Bapomet from Satanism? There it is. This is in the Christ statue. So you turn your camera slightly and boom, there you have what they're actually showing you. Now if you think I'm reaching, here's the statue. See? Eyes, nose, horns. Here's the horns. Here's the eyes, down to the nostrils. And now, the so-called Christ figure almost looks like some sort of praying mantis with these giant eyes and everything. Let's just zoom in for you. Look at this. There's the eyes. They are exactly the same. You cannot mistake this as reaching down to the nostrils, the horns going out to the sides. This is Bapomet, and this thing with its weird reptilian eyes and its arms reaching. I would say it's a better depiction of an antichrist figure than it is anything to do with Christ.